All right, more about data types. Um, a modern feature in modern C Sharp uh, and something that you will probably find that you'll probably read out a lot out there is that sometimes people, when declaring variables, they use the implicit type var as the type of that variable. All right, var is a keyword that basically represents a data type that will be assigned whenever the compiler figures out um, what type of information we are passing in here to the to the variable. What does that mean? It means basically that um, in a way we are being lazy about specifically typing which type uh, this variable is going to be and then what we want is we rely on the compiler to make a decision about, oh, the, he wrote the number 10 here, so he probably means that this variable is going to be an integer, all right? Uh, so for example, if I, I can do this, I can write four different variables, all of them with the exact same keyword here, var, but then give them different types. So this would be a number with decimal part, a double, this would be a piece of text, so a string, and this would be true or a Boolean, all right? What this means is not that these variables don't have a data type. What it means is that I'm being a little lazy about typing it, and then I'm just letting the compiler decide that this is going to be an integer, this is going to be a double, this is going to be a string, and this is going to be a Boolean, all right? That's it. Um, and um, but we need to remember that even though we will not type the the type of the variable explicitly, that type still exists. And then all the rules that apply to not being able to mix oranges and apples still apply. So for example, if I run this code, this is going to print the value of 10 to the console here, right? But then if I were to change the value of a afterwards to, for example, some value with decimal part, the compiler is going to complain. And it's going to tell me that I cannot store a value of the type double inside of an integer, because even though I have written var here, the computer has assigned a as a type integer implicitly, because this is the first value that I assigned to this variable. All right, so a after this line of code forever and ever is going to be of the type integer. Same for double here and same for text. All right. Um, var is very common among modern programmers and especially those who are um, a little lazy about typing just because like sometimes writing the declaration of a type can be a little lengthy. So um, you may see these sometimes uh, writing your own programs. I don't have a strong opinion about whether if you should use it or not. I, I would recommend perhaps that if you're beginning, maybe you would want to be a bit more explicit about types and type integer, double, etc., just to um, get your brain a bit, a bit stronger about data types. And as you become more comfortable uh, with computer programming, then maybe you can start indulging in this kind of shortcuts or this kind of um, uh, generalizations, all right? But the types are still there. It's just that they have not been written explicitly. They are assigned implicitly. 